Hey everyone, so I thought it would be interesting to make a video of my Super Nintendo collection. So first I have these books. They're actually both the same book. This is paperback and this one's hardback. Um, they're like collector's books and it basically shows you like every everything about the Super Nintendo, like the making of all the games and stuff in it. And it's really cool. Although I don't know why it's binded like that. That's kind of annoying, but yeah, the hardback version is really cool. That's the sleeve of it. I'm not going to take it off because I don't really want to take it off right now. But basically when I want to read it, I just read that version and then that version is for the shelf. So I'll go ahead and put these over here. And this is like the, the box that I have my Super Nintendo in. Not sure like where it came from really because my dad had these obviously. So it's kind of broken, I think. Hopefully I can set it out. My Christmas tree is kind of in the way. Okay. So here's the system. And like, we were lucky enough to have the one where it doesn't yellow. So the very first one they made, the plastic, the top plastic would yellow for some reason, like over time. And it looks like this is the later version that doesn't yellow. So that's really cool. It still looks brand new pretty much. So yeah. So anyway, let's, let's start looking at the games. So of course, Super Mario World, one of the launch titles. Obviously it's a classic, everyone knows about this game. I've played it like millions of times. Donkey Kong Country, a great game. It was like the technical like revolution for the time. And of course we have the trilogy, Donkey Kong Country 2 is the best in my opinion. And then three, like it's good, but it's not as good as the other ones, of course. The original Mario Kart, the game's like really hard. Um, what is this one? STG uh, Gunner. I think I've played it, but I don't really have an opinion on that one because I don't really remember playing it. F Zero is also one of the launch titles. It's a really good game. I really wish we'd get a new F Zero. Street Fighter 2. I love that game. I used to play it all the time. It's a classic, of course. Uh, Space Invaders. Dragon's Lair, which was an arcade game, but they ported it. And uh, Pilot Wings, that was also a launch title. That game is like underrated. I think it's really fun. So yeah, let's move on to, I have more stuff down here. It's like a drawer that slides out. And we have the controllers. Yeah. And the controllers, like, they wear down over time, of course, so they don't really work as well as they used to. And anyway, so I have more games down here. How is Humongous Gets Adventure? Like, no one talks about this game, but I think, I think it's a good game. I mean, you can't save, and it just kind of sucks, but I think it's a good game. Really, no one talks about it. Uh, Wings. I don't really have an opinion on that one because I don't really remember playing it too much. Uh, what do we have? Championship pool. Yeah, it's just pool, I guess, you know. Uh, let's see. This one is Choplifter 3. Dang, there's some dust on there. That, I, I remember that being kind of fun, although I don't really remember playing it all that much. I think I have some games behind the controllers. I think uh, there's one game. What is this? Road Riot? Like, some of these are, um, I remember when we went to GameSwap, we'd get, like, they were selling bags of Super Nintendo games for like $5. So I bought some of these, and a lot of these here, like the pool and stuff, like, came from that. Surprisingly, F Zero was in it, which is honestly really cool. But yeah, I think. Oh wait, there's some more games behind that. Okay, I remember we have uh, Frogger. Basically, just Frogger on Super Nintendo, and then uh, Jungle Book. I remember playing that. It's like a really hard game, and like you can't save, so it's kind of annoying because you can't save. Um, so yeah, that's all my games that I have. Uh, if you know anyone that is selling 
Super Nintendo games like for a cheap price and please let me know because it's really hard to find any of these games like for a decent price nowadays. So yeah. So another thing I have I forgot to talk about is the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And uh, basically it just has 30 games on it, I'm sure you know what this is. Uh, they're pretty hard to find right now, so I'm really glad that I got it when it came out, for, like for the actual price. It's, it came out at uh, $60, and now people are selling this thing for like $300, so it's it's really annoying, scalpers and stuff, you know, but I'm really glad that I have one though. So yeah, that's my Super Nintendo collection, and uh, yeah, see ya.